I will go into detail of pulses paradoxes. As I told you, with falling blood pressure, pulses paradoxes is a very important clue to this condition, right? Now, what is pulses paradoxes? Before really I go to the pulses paradoxes, I want to explain a very important physiological concept related with the respiratory cycle and arterial blood pressure. And then I will tell what is pulses paradoxes, right? Now, let me tell you that I will draw it here, blood pressure. You know blood pressure, uh, if, if you put a manometer in my brachial artery, I hope this is brachial or femoral? Brachial. brachial, okay. So brachial artery, sometimes I forget anatomy, right? So a brachial artery, if you put a manometer, when heart contract, pressure goes up, that is systolic, and when heart is relaxing, uh, when left ventricle is relaxing, pressure went, goes down, it is called diastolic blood pressure. So let's suppose my blood pressure is ideal, even though I don't have many things ideal, but I'm happy with my life still. So what is there? That your blood pressure measurement, the systemic arterial blood pressure, it fluctuates like this. It goes from 80 to 120 down. Now what is this? This is systolic blood pressure, then come diastolic, then systolic, then diastolic, then systolic, then diastolic. Right? You understand it very clearly. Everyone understand. Now, actually during the respiratory cycle, there is fluctuation in systolic blood pressure. You must be knowing systolic blood pressure mainly depends on cardiac output. If left ventricle is producing more cardiac output, if left ventricle is producing more cardiac output, systolic blood pressure will go up. For example, if my left heart more strongly contract, right, systolic blood pressure may go up. Right? Or if my left heart contract very weak, then systolic blood pressure will be less than normal. So what I'm saying, the systolic blood pressure depends on the performance of the left ventricle. Systolic arterial blood pressure. This is your left ventricle, right? This is the valve. Now let me tell you what really happens during respiratory cycle. If there are changes, basic concept, if there are changes in left ventricular output, there will be changes in which pressure? Systolic blood pressure. Is that clear? If there are changes in cardiac output of left ventricle, there will be changes in systolic blood pressure. Now we see, during respiratory cycle, what really happens? This is your chest, right? Diaphragm. Here lies your uh, right heart. And let's suppose here is your left heart, right? Okay, let me make the septum more clearly. This is left heart, okay. This is your right heart, right? Now, <laughs> listen, actually, Normally, pericardium which is around it is there, it is not, uh, it is filled with 30 to 50 ml uh, fluid and not interfering with dynamics of the heart, right? And when the inspiration occur, what happens? First I will talk about when inspiration occur, what happens? When inspiration occur, you know lungs are shrinking or expanding? Now, let's suppose this patient is undergoing inspiratory process. So naturally chest wall is expanding, diaphragm is going down and intrathoracic pressure is becoming more negative. Intrathoracic pressure is becoming more negative so that the air can be sucked in. The purpose of when diaphragm goes down and chest wall expands anteroposteriorly and side to side laterally, what happens? Intrathoracic pressure becomes negative. When there is intrathoracic pressure become more negative, it sucks the air in. It sucks the air in. That is what we call inspiration. That is what we call inspiration. Is that right? But with that, it also sucks the systemic venous blood. Chest cavity 
the venous return from here and venous return coming from other spiro vena cava and fio vena cava it also become faster again listen during inspiration right chest is expanding thoracic cavity is expanding pressure intra thoracic pressure become negative as air is pulled in enlarging cavity and increased more negative intra thoracic pressure also pull the venous blood from spiro vena cava and also venous blood from inferior vena cava so venous return to the right heart during inspiration is less or more more, more. is that clear to everyone so venous return to the right heart during inspiration becomes more so when there is more blood coming here so that will lead to what enlargement of right ventricle it is slightly overfilled when right ventricle is slightly overfilled it will expand in all dimensions right ventricle will expand in all direction during inspiration it will expand in these directions free wall will expand as well as higher amount of blood will not only push these walls it will also push the septum also push the septum so during inspiration not only this extra amount of fluid which is accumulating here not only free wall move outward this free wall this will move outward this septum interventricular septum is pushed towards the left so, so but this pushes very slight suppose this is the septum during inspiration it becomes slightly not very severely slightly deflected to the left so during inspiration due to right over right sided overfilling there is slight deflection to the left side so filling to left side will become slightly less this is one reason why during inspiration left sided heart is slightly underfilled there is another reason why left side is underfilled during inspiration during inspiration lungs are expanding during expiration inspiration lungs are expanding when lungs are expanding the pulmonary circulation is compliant stretchable so when lungs are expanding not only air pockets expand but also vasculature or pulmonary vasculature also expand so capacity of pul pulmonary vasculature during inspiration become more or less more. more so it become more capacity so it try to hold the blood during inspiration so blood from the lungs going to the left side of heart will be less or more yes. less you are understanding so during inspiration two things happen one thing is there is negative intrathoracic pressure pull more blood to the right side of the heart and right ventricle overfilling slightly push the septum to the left and that make the left slightly underfilled second reason is that uh, uh, left side of the heart is receiving the blood coming from pulmonary circulation and as lungs are expanding pulmonary circulation is compliant pulmonary circulation expand and venous return to the left heart become less of course when venous return to left heart is less and also septum is slightly deflected there so this will be overfilled left side or underfilled Underfill. yes so during inspiration right overfilled and left Underfill. underfills but still this can expand there is very slight movement of septum because expansion can occur in this direction and also in this direction now but in normal person right now when you go inspiration left side is underfilled of course end diastolic volume is less what will happen end diastolic pressure is less myocardial stretch on the left ventricle is less contractility is less stroke volume is less cardiac output is less and systolic blood pressure slightly drop this is physiological drop this is physiological drop in normal person with normal respiratory right healthy person during every inspiration left ventricle becomes slightly underfilled and due to that reason cardiac output becomes slightly less and systolic blood pressure becomes slightly down during yes during inspiration and reverse will occur during expiration. expiration so we can say let's suppose this is inspiration right okay let's start the cycle with inspiration 
and let's start with expiration because it will become easier to explain in expiration opposite occur what will happen during expiration chest cavity is becoming smaller intrathoracic pressure is less negative right what will happen that cable blood will be pulled less efficiently so venous return during expiration venous return to right side is less and because lungs are being squeezed during expiration venous return to left side is more and cardiac output during expiration becomes more and systolic blood pressure goes up now if you very carefully check the blood pressure during let's suppose this is 80 and this is 120 uh, systolic blood pressure during expiration is suppose if it is 80 120 during inspiration it will fall right during inspiration it will fall and in expiration again it will go up and then again inspiration it will fall and then expiration it will go up and then in inspiration it will fall now uh, this fall this inspiratory fall this inspiratory fall during inspiration this inspiratory fall of systolic blood pressure do you, right inspiratory fall of systolic blood pressure if it is this fall is less than 10 millimeter of mercury it is normal for example uh, blood pressure during expiration is 120 by 80 and blood pressure during inspiration is suppose 114 by 80 how much is the difference six so this is normal so normal inspiratory drop in systolic blood pressure should not be more than 10 millimeter of mercury is that right pardon can you say it more loudly uh, I will not talk about that later but if you really want to know what is the difference in diastolic the reason being during inspiration sympathetic slightly overflow occur a little tachycardia is there and arterioles constrict so diastolic may go slightly change but right now in the explaining of pulses paradoxes I will focus on systolic. systolic blood pressure so what we have learned up to now during expiration systolic blood pressure goes up and during inspiration systolic blood pressure come down in normal person and this difference should be less than 10 millimeter of mercury right then it is normal now what is pulses paradoxes actually listen what is pulses paradoxes pulses paradoxes is a condition in which inspiratory drop in systolic blood pressure is more than 10 millimeter of mercury again repeat I will repeat what is pulses paradoxes or paradoxical pulse paradoxical pulse is a situation in which in, during inspiration systolic blood pressure drop or decrease more than 10 millimeter of mercury then we say there is pulses paradoxes even though or another way to uh, uh, mention it is that pulses paradoxes is a condition in which normal physiological drop in systolic blood pressure is exaggerated normal physiological drop in systolic blood pressure is exaggerated beyond the normal limit am I clear now so example classical example of this can be let's suppose this is another person in which uh, systolic blood pressure is going like this normal tracing is going like this but here it become like this here it was 120 by 80 during expression and if there is pulses paradoxes I will explain why pulses paradoxes develop just in two minutes but first listen what is pulses paradoxes pulses paradoxes condition that during inspiration the drop which is supposed to be less than 10 millimeter it is too much a drop rather than here it was normal person I'm just giving example it was 120 and it was 114 or 110 then it is normal but if this is 120 and this is let's suppose it is 100 systolic blood pressure right in this case we will say the systolic blood uh, pressure uh, total blood pressure uh, during the what is this 
expiration it is 120 by 80 and maybe during inspiration it has become 100 by 80 pulse volume has become less sometimes it becomes so less that pulse is very weak peripheral pulses become very weak or rarely they may be absent you are understanding during inspiration <laughs> but pulse should appear during expiration if it is absent all the time it's the mother's story <laughs> right am i clear yes, so now what we have learned up to now only we have learned one thing what is pulses paradoxes pulses paradoxes a condition in which normal physiological inspiratory drop in systolic blood pressure is exaggerated and it is more than 10 millimeter of mercury am i clear now pulses paradoxes is one of the important clue towards the what cardiac tamponade even when some patient comes with acute pericarditis and effusion even if cardiac tamponade is not there you repeatedly check the patient's pulses check the blood pressure and jvp and heart sounds and if jvp start rising and pulses paradoxes appear with hypotension you have to think of cardiac tamponade 